Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue our training and the preparation for Elastic Certified Engineer exam. And uh, we stay or we still with the same uh, topic. And uh, we discuss in the previous two videos the uh, uh, index settings and mapping. And today we're going to discuss the alias. With that being said, let's jump first to the documentation. So what's the, uh, what's the definition of uh, aliases or what's the uh, use of uh, alias? Like we can group uh, one index or multiple index in one alias and the logic or uh, how it works, like we're going to define, we're going to define the alias here, right? And imagine we have, we have index one and we have index two and we have index three, right? So from here, from the alias, instead of uh, like the user, like instead like the user will not access directly, will not access directly to the uh, to the indices like this, right? What we're gonna do, we're gonna define alias and the user will access to the alias. And here we will give access to uh, whatever we want. Like if we want to give access to all the indices, right? Like if the user run the query and uh, on this alias and this alias will come here to uh, index one and two and three and search for the response and return it back. Or um, uh, let's say uh, we're going to create um, alias for marketing, right? So we will extract, like we will not give the access on the full index, but we will give access for uh, a part of the index. Let's say just the information that we needed or that the uh, uh, marketing team uh, needed, right? With that being said, let's uh, jump now to, uh, I hope it's clear, let's jump to our um, uh, demo. I just want to mention uh, yesterday I made a typo here. So a date of birth, it's with uh, with I. It's like this. So it's just uh, made a typo. <coughs> and yeah. All right. So let's now try this one uh, on your environment. Click on try and here uh, click add. Like add uh, this data for, uh, for the e-commerce. Right. So let's now go to our dev tools. Right. And if we extract now the aliases, this is the aliases that we have. And if we want to run a search query on the um, on the index, we call it Kibana, this one. So if we uh, if we run a search, right, like this, so this will return everything, right? So it's like uh, this is the total number of the document, and this is the data. So we can see it uh, from here, or let me just duplicate this one you can as well come here to discover and here you open kibana sample uh, there are e-commerce and you will be able to find the data here so this is uh, this one is the same here this is the same output right so in this <coughs> in this uh, output or on this uh, index right we have multiple things uh, we have a lot of things like if we open here we can see, for example, here we have the customer, gender, full name, uh, first name, last name, ID, and so on and so forth, right? So here, uh, and uh, here the uh, the example of the, for example, the uh, geolocation, right? Imagine I want to create an alias that points just to uh, the uh, uh, Africa as a continent, right? How I do that? So I can come here. I will create. I will create. Uh, let me just put it here. I will create an index, or I will create. Uh, sorry, an alias. So I said, like we use a put. Kibana. This is the name. I will uh, use alias, right? And here, if I do marketing, marketing Africa. Perfect. And here I will create a filter like this and I will filter based on the term and here the field is the geo IP dots continent name this one and here the value <coughs> it will be Af Africa like this it's I will run here it's acknowledge now if I run this query or if I run this uh, search query like this 
Oh, sorry, not this one. I will do this on the aliases. I can see this uh, this um, new this new uh, this new alias. Sorry. Perfect. Now let's go back to the to this one. So here we have a new alias, right? Now if I run um, my a query on this alias right it will return only the documents that have this value right so this what is it this one i will toggle it like here all right so I'll just make sure so this is a uh, it's a capital a well, let's just keep it for now. Now, if I want to run search query, I will call the alias, right? And I run search. So here it's a zero, and the uh, and the reason because uh, it's a is a uh, is a sens sensitive like we have to use it as it is like here it's uppercase mean we have to uh, run or we have to create the filter based on the uh, like exactly how it's defined here so here they are using uppercase here we need to use uppercase so now if I <clears throat> if I run the search query again here I have this uh, value so in the previous one it was uh, zero because we miss uh, like we type it with a lowercase and this is case sensitive 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 so that's why uh, it's returned an empty value or empty result so if we do the same um, again so here we have only one uh, we will create uh, another one we will call it for example let's say <coughs> put Kibana, right? I will create alias and here marketing. I will call it okay, North America, for example. One second. So here, and here lowercase. Okay, and here I'll create a filter like this, and here term. And here the same we will use you IP continent name and here we copy we copy paste as it is. I will create so acknowledge. If I run or if I check the aliases, I see another uh, alias here, North America. Now if I run um, if I run a search query the same as this one, so get marketing North America and here if I run search if I run the query now I have 1206 so here all the if we search if we run here for example uh, continent or um, uh, yes if we search for a continent one second continent so as you can see, all the continent here is North America, right? So if I search for the others, all of them are the same, uh, same value. Uh, we get to the end of this uh, demo. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.